guys welcome back to the 19th day of our series unleash your authentic divine feminine self i hope you're doing well today and if you are new to the series then a really warm welcome to you you can check out the videos that i've done they're all in the playlist section and we are going to have a couple of days off as well from the series so you've got a couple of days to catch up on any videos that you may have missed as well and we are going to jump in and see what messages are coming through today. So thank you, angels. What message is coming through for everyone today from this deck, okay? And then thank you, angels, from the Divine Feminine Oracle. What message is coming through? Right, okay, one card each today. So the first card that came out is Soul Cage. And, you know, really powerful card. And it's also very interesting because yesterday I talked about how the cards that are coming out sort of have a twin flame energy. You can see that there's like that mermaid, the divine feminine and the divine masculine as well. So this is really powerful. This is showing you that the more you are diving deeper into yourself, you know, connecting with your true self, working on yourself, healing yourself, getting to know your true self and the things that you truly enjoy doing, you know, working on the things that you're passionate about that light you up inside. The more you're connecting with your soul, with your true self and walking your path, the more you're actually helping your journey to move forward as well. You know, that's the energy that's really coming through with these cards. It's that the more, the more you're diving deeper into yourself, you know, getting more into that place of that inner union with yourself, the more your twin flame journey is actually moving forward. And as you can see here as well, before I even read what it says about soul cage, you know, you can see it's like the divine feminine and the divine masculine. There's all this darkness at the top and they are sort of going up, you know, it's like they're going to the surface there and the su at the surface there's all this light. So it's like, you know, moving away from all the darkness, the negativity, the fear, the things that have held you back all your lives and you are going together towards the light, you know, moving forward towards the light, towards union, towards the life that you both truly desire, but also towards each of you getting to really know your true authentic self and the more you're doing that for yourself, and you know and connecting with your true selves and getting more into that place of inner union the more you're moving forward towards that physical union as well so it's like you're working together towards that life that you truly desire and you know and these are the darkness is all the things that have held you back you know even when you go through separation it's like the dark night of the soul when everything starts coming up and you realize that you have to work on healing and as a divine feminine you start to do that you start to heal your life and as you do that you know you start to open up uh, as you awaken as well moving away from the darkness moving up and you know to, towards the light and you also help your divine masculine who then does the same as well and starts to move forward towards the light and it's like you the divine feminine are really you can see it's like the divine feminine is actually pushing the divine masculine up there and you know it's like the divine feminine is really in her power pushing helping the divine masculine to go up to that light so it's like you know you regain your divine feminine power and the more you're doing that by connecting with your true self by working on yourself the more you support and help energetically support and help your divine masculine to be able to move forward towards that light as well so this is what you do as you focus on yourself you know you leave what's going on with them on the 3d you focus on yourself and as you're doing that for yourself unleashing your true authentic self you know working on your mission on the things that you enjoy doing in your life you are energetically supporting your divine masculine breathing that air as we said in the video from yesterday into them to help them to move forward as well on their own journey so that they move forward towards the light as well so you're both helping each other you are both guiding you you are guiding your divine masculine but you're both helping each other to move forward as well towards you know the life that you truly desire because with the separation that happened as your divine masculine walks away you know that gets you on your path of starting your healing so your divine masculine helps you to start your healing and then as you start your healing you help your divine masculine as well to start their healing as you both move towards the light leaving behind the fears the negativity and this is the sort of um you know a agreement that you had with your divine masculine before you even incarnated onto this planet because you knew that you were going to face all this darkness because it's part of the soul growth that you needed for you both to lend 
the lessons that you needed to learn, you know, for your soul growth and evolvement. And you knew you would have to face this darkness. And one day you would come together and help each other so that you can get through this darkness, leave it all behind and move forward towards the light. You know, move forward towards, um, you know, free, being free in yourselves, your soul being free, because this is about the soul cage. So all this darkness, the socialization, the conditioning, the programming, the fears, the negativity that is in society, you know, all the things that you were told that you had to do certain things and, you know, and your soul wasn't free to do what it truly was here to do. That is all sort of part of that soul cage where your soul has been caged in. So you came here to help each other to free your soul, you know, to learn also the lessons that you needed to learn, you know, the lessons that because there is, you know, darkness exists with, with the light, you know, it helps the light to shine through. So all the things that you've experienced the dark times that you've experienced, the challenges that you've experienced, they are all helping the light to then be able to shine through, to help your soul to then find that freedom, to be able to come out of this cage and shine even brighter. So you both had that agreement to help each other through the challenges that you go through, you know, on your journey, on your twin flame journey as well, hard as it may be, for for the 3d and the ego your for your life on the 3d and the ego that is that sort of agreement that you had to help each other to find that light for your soul to then be able to find to to shine its light even brighter for your soul to find its freedom so that you can do the things that you are here to do and for your soul to grow and evolve as well so that's the message that's coming through in relation to the twin flame journey when it comes to this card but the card itself says rescue escape from captivity and restriction so this is really powerful and that is what you are doing on this journey you know on your spiritual journey and you know you are finding your freedom it's like you're rescuing your soul from all the things that have held it back all your life you know the things the fears the negativity the, the everything that you've picked up on the traumas and you know that bring in all the fear and the fear sort of comes in it's like the darkness that comes in and covers your soul and now as you go on your twin flame journey and it breaks you in a way you know it sort of shatters you about so that you can start to rebuild yourself up you know to into your true authentic self and as you do that it's like the fears are all falling away and the light that comes through from your, from your soul can shine even brighter but also you know your soul is coming out of that cage of all those fears that it sort of um you know sort of covered it all this time so you you are rescuing your soul the more you keep moving forward on your path the more you keep diving deeper unleashing your true authentic self you are actually in this place of rescuing your soul from the captivity that it has had from the fears from the 3d matrix you know the things that you were told that you had to do and live your life a certain way you are freeing your soul so it's coming out of this cage and it's shining you it's helping your light to shine even brighter and it says escape from captivity and restriction so you know there may be certain things that you felt that you couldn't do in your life because you know what would other people think what would society think what would your parents think you know all these things that you just really felt that you had to do you know maybe you had certain passions of things that you wanted to do but you sort of put those away because you had to follow what you thought was the right thing to do whether that is job wise you know career wise or even in relationships you know you may have just sort of sacrificed yourself as well and your desires and you know sort of done certain things because that's what you had to do and this is about escaping from that captivity and all those restrictions that you had put on yourself or that society had put on you or fear and negativity had put on you because you were too afraid to you know the fear sort of came in the ego brought in all these fears and stopped you from doing what you truly want to do what you're truly passionate about so you're breaking free from all this and you are finding your freedom your soul is coming out of the cage that it has been held in so that it finds it free to, it's, it finds its freedom and it can you can really walk the path that you are really here to do you can do the you know things that you've always wanted to do you know the things that light you up inside and you can work and do your mission as well 
world that is all about helping others. Even if other people may not understand it, you're now understanding that it's about you doing what is right for you. It's about you letting your soul be free to do the things that you're here to do. Because the more you're doing that, the more you're walking your path, the more you're walking your path to the light, to even more light and to the life that you're truly here to live. So it's about, you know, even if now you may still be in a certain situation, in your life that you know that this is not serving you, that, you know, it may be a karmic situation. It may be something that you just know it's not lighting you up inside. You know, it may be a job. Then this is about you escaping, you know, find a, your way to escape from this captivity and restriction and let your, your soul come out of this cage so that it can truly shine. You can move into creativity. You can move into doing things that truly bring out more of the light that is within you because there is so much that is within you that needs to come out so it's about you moving away from those things and you know some of these things you don't just do them straight away they take time but it's about making that uh, those steps forward to doing that and that is okay you know it doesn't mean you should just go ahead and put everything down because it takes time but it's about making the steps that you need to make to let your soul be free and find that freedom so that's a beautiful message that is coming through and the more you're doing that as well you know the more you are freeing your soul from this cage of fear negativity things that you know no longer serve you things that are holding you back from living the life that you're truly here to live from shining your light even brighter from you know just being your true self the more you actually get to know who you are because you're getting through all those barriers that have held you back and you know and you're finding your strength you're finding that power that lies within you to help you to move forward towards the things that you're here to do so really powerful cards to have come out today and the second card that came out is the black madonna and it says our lady of the hermits so and it says i transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love wow what a beautiful message so this is really about you know these cards go really well this is about the pain and suffering that you go through in the time of darkness you know that is the pain and suffering that you, let's say uh, just using an example of your twin flame journey when your divine masculine walks away and you go through all the pain and suffering you know the dark night of the soul the divine masculine goes through as well you both go through a really tough time and, and you go through the challenges and you know but in also in other areas of your life you know that pain and suffering that you go through but it's about really then using that and you know transforming that pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love because the more you release all that the more you get through that pain and those challenges the more you grow within yourself you know the more you actually come out on the other side if feeling like you know strong stronger and more powerful as well because you managed to get through whatever that difficult period was in your life and as you do that you're stronger you're more powerful you know your light shines even brighter because you've really broken through that fear and the challenges and all the uh, obstacles that were in the way and that helps your light to shine even brighter you know, because where there is the darkness, when the light shines through, it then really shines even brighter. So that's about you sort of transforming all that pain and suffering. You know, all those things are there to teach you something. They're all part of the lessons that you came here to learn to help your soul to grow. And the more you get through those the pain and the suffering, you know, the more you come out and you actually learn to love even more. You know, it's like with this twin flame journey, you come out of the pain and suffering of the, the separation on, on the physical and you come out and you learn to have unconditional love. So, you know, it opens you up to a greater capacity to love. And that's what you're learning on this journey. You know, you're learning to learn from all that you've gone through and actually love even more so that you can be able to share that love, you know, to love yourself unconditionally, your divine masculine unconditionally, and to also share that love and spread that love when it comes to uh, humanity as well. So really powerful cards to have come out today. It's about really knowing that, you know, the more you are going through all these challenges coming out of the darkness and into the light more, the more you are actually getting to know your true authentic self, 
unleashing the truth of who you are and moving forward as well with power and with strength into more of that light. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.